this gorgeous uh, cotton fabric called uh, Poppy, I think it's called. No, it's called Sweet Pea. And this gorgeous green, like minty, not minty green, but a lovely green with um, these white daisies. So I've got one and a half meters of this and I've got some off-white cotton dobby so I'm thinking of doing a bit of a mishmash a mishmash with these two together I'm thinking of well I am going to be doing the Dixie dress but the Dixie into a Dixie top because I haven't got I haven't got enough and I don't really want to make another Dixie dress but I fancy making a Dixie top then I could wear it with like my jeans and things but I'll show you the Dixie top prototype and I'll pop a picture up as well. This is the one, this is where the Dixie dress actually started from. This is the one I did last year. And I was just, I was just really doing like twirl, wearable twirl, seeing how, how I got with it. And I really liked how it turned out. Since I did this, I uh, put the button placket because I thought it was far too pretty down the back. The button placket is now down at the front. And uh, you can see my ruffle wasn't quite, wasn't enough gather on that ruffle because it's quite flat. So obviously I mended the length of the ruffle, uh, but I still wear it because it's still really pretty and um, it's just the button plaque is down the back. So I'm going to be making, obviously this is now created into the Dixie dress, but I'm going to be making it with a button placket like the Dixie dress down the front and with this cute little peplum on. So the thing that I'm toying with is, do I do it all in the, in the sweet pea? I don't know whether I've got enough. Or do I mix and match just to liven it up a bit and maybe do the ruffle, neck ruffle in the dobby with the ruffle hem in the dobby and the main green floral fabric in the body and the sleeves and then I was thinking of um, putting some that on the end of the sleeves and bind do the binding for the neckline in the sweet pea so it'll be like a nice little contrast and bring it all together that's what I'm thinking of doing so I thought I'd take you with me behind the scenes me sewing it's not going to be tutorial I'm just going to you know, chat with you as I go put some music on and hopefully you'll just enjoy watching me faff about as I do um, and see how I come up with this final version because obviously the Dixie dress I'm 95% sure will be my next sewing pattern after the Nell t-shirt dress which is coming your way in hopefully a week or two's time so my next pattern after that I think is going to be the Dixie dress and obviously I want to be working on variations of the dress for the pattern and obviously the blouse is going to be one of the variations but I'm working on it because the fabric's absolutely gorgeous and I want to wear it very soon with my jeans, I think. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you enjoy just watching me sewing this little garment and we'll see what it looks like at the end. And I'll pop in and out with chatting with you as I go, but hopefully you just enjoy watching me sew. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours
sleeves out the sleeve and then maybe add some length to it and add the dobby or do I cut the sleeves out and add another section you can't see because my cat's in the way so as I was saying do I cut the sleeves out there's the pattern piece the whole sleeve which would give me that but then for me to get that dobby on the end the contrast on the end do I cut another section out and make the sleeve longer or do I cut the sleeve out up to the elastic and then add the section let me just put this on for the length because I can't remember lengthwise would make it there if I did that, yeah, I might try that to see what it looks like. So I'm just pinning the contrasting ruffle part of the sleeve on. I'm going to try and do some block sewing. Um, so I'm just getting everything ready. I've pinned my darts. I've got the button plackets. Um, so there's both the sleeves. Pinned my darts ready. Pinned the button plackets, folded them over. They're ready to go. And I'm also going to get my bias. So I'm going to sew my bias strips into my one length and i think that's it so far so i'm just going to go over to the sewing machine and um, get all this lot sewn up
these sleeves. So next I'm going to sew, overlock my frill and sew my two ruffle peplum hems together. two rows of gathering stitches along the well both edges so that's next to gather the skirt piece but I'll do that after my coffee break and then sew the front sleeves are partly done sew the front to the back and yeah doing quite well so coffee break so I'm back I've had a nice cup of coffee I've had a break cats have been out I'm back so let's get on with finishing off this top Couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great 
love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't wanna let you go have to do with it but it's not easy so tell me how to let go cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own ever since i got a good look in his eyes i just knew that he was special he said he wanted to take it slow but i couldn't help that i wanted to take it to the next level cause i wanted that great love like standing in the middle of a but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know Looking good so far So now I'm just going to give it a press Trim off the excess Don't need all that Everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind mm -mm. I couldn't get him off my mind mm -mm -mm. Lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know. Tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other All done. Right, so we can put the machine away now. Turn this machine off now. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause right, so the sleeves Overlock and then add to the bodice. Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on.
looking good so far so just the peplum frill and buttonholes next and then we're done just going to machine tack just the bottom of the button placket there just to keep it in position when I add the ruffle so I'm just going to do a quick machine tack across there just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cause I Right, just going to sew that, overlock it, sew the buttons on and we are done. All done, so there you go. So there is the Dixie dress turned into a cute little top. I think it's really cute, in fact, super cute. I love the fabrics that I've used. Take some photographs, try it on, take some photographs, and uh, yeah, there you go. So a little sneak peek behind the scenes of me working on, hopefully, my next sewing pattern. This is like toile two, shall we say. Let me know what you think.